Hey, what's going on guys? This right here is a product that I've been curious about for a long time. Um, it's the Bluing Tank Stand by Brownells. All the tank stands I currently have have been homemade welded. Um, but I'm in the process of move, moving my bluing room over to the new house. Um, if you follow me on Instagram a while back, I had some pictures of the shit I built for it. But I um, kind of just wanted to go with what Brownells had. But I wasn't sure how sturdy it was or even how it worked, what it looked like. So I just picked one up for now. I'm going to need quite a few more, probably at least five. Um, you can see here I need one for the bluing salts. I need a cold water rinse, a hot water rinse, um, and definitely a water displacing oil tank. I don't always use the 909 cleaner tank. I get them cleaned pretty good with um, acetone or brake clean. But I wouldn't mind having it and maybe start using it. Um, but definitely five to start at least. I'm going to kind of show you here in the pamphlet before I get to the actual items. Um, it comes with U-bolts to mount your burner. I have... Um, a water tank burner coming. It hasn't showed up yet. It uses less um, gas than the one needed to heat the salts. So I'll be running propane over here, which obviously I'm going to pay for where the old blue room had free gas. So I didn't really care, but that should help um, save some propane. And if you can see here, the burner mounts underneath the tank stand in that U-shaped bracket. We'll get to it here in a second and on the actual stand, but I just kind of wanted you to see how it's set up. There's um multiple holes in that U to change the height of the burner, depending on what you're using the stand for. And then you can see here, there's different ways to use um, that square channel to tie your tanks together, whether you're um, putting them in a line, making an L, like a 90 with them, or if you're stacking them like this, which I kind of have this set up now in my shop. Um, I have my cold water tank, and then right behind it, I have my water displacing which I'm not a big fan of. I probably won't do that again just because when you're pulling stuff out of the oil, you don't want to contaminate your water tank with oil. So I'll probably put everything in a line sort of like maybe like diagram seven here or six. I don't think I'll be doubling them up, but it's nice to have options. Um, it definitely looks like a versatile stand. I won't bore you any longer, and I'll actually get to the stand itself here. Um, these are the channels to tie them together like I just showed you. And this is the top of the tank. I mean, top of the stand where your tank sits. And then this is what I was talking about, the different heights for your burner, depending on how you... How, what height you need for whatever you're boiling. Get one of these brackets out to kind of show you how it works. This will mount, oh, wrong side. Come on, like this. This will mount like this, depending on the height. And then, Sorry guys, I'm working with one hand here. And then that U-clamp will clamp your bolt, uh, your, um, lost my train of thought, your burner. Um, that U-clamp will clamp your burner to this piece of angle and then you can adjust the height accordingly. And then 
those are the holes here and here if you want to join your tanks together. Then what I like, because you can see here, it does move a little bit. So you're definitely going to want to tie them together probably. But also it's got holes in the base, which will be nice. If, if you have a wood floor, you can just lag straight to it. Otherwise, you got to drill through the concrete, but definitely a good idea to lag it to the floor. And then you're going to have a way more solid system. You're not going to have to worry about your your tanks tipping. At least your stand tipping. Your tank could still tip. But yeah, pretty impressed with it. They're a little pricey. They're almost $250, but if you can see the construction of this, the time and money you'd have in material building something like this i don't think you'd really save too much i'll put a link in the description for this um and i'll probably do a follow-up video once i get my burner and uh, throw a tank on here to give you guys a better visualization of what the whole setup looks like so yeah any questions comments i'd be happy to answer thanks guys